Welcome back to the third to last episode of the series. Uh, the series? Hopefully not the series. Um, just this season, really. And we are looking forward to Phoenix in the IEC Cup. And we've taken the lead of the Drivers' and Constructors' Championship. But it's not convincing. It was lucky. <laughs> just to say, say it pretty um, simply, it was very lucky. Um, I'm hoping to get some better sponsors than that. And... From payment, I mean, I just can't see us doing any of those. It's really frustrating. First position, I just can't see happening. So we're just gonna have to take the upfront payment in that because I don't think we're gonna be targeting first place. It's gonna be, it's annoying. We're just not quite good enough right now. We're not quite good enough, which is annoying. Um, I'll put one of those sponsors on before this race. I mean, I suppose there's not much point if it doesn't give us an upfront payment. Uh, upfront payment of half a mil. I guess we'll just take it. Six races. Mm. I don't know what to do here. I mean, neither of them are going to really use, but this one gives us a bit of influence. So I'll, t I'll just take that. We might you need that extra two influence before the end of the season. We're done up. But I've only got 2.2 .2 million. It's going to basically put us into bankruptcy by the end of the next race, which is worrying. We're basically just relying on sponsors to come and help us. So hopefully some sponsors run out over the next couple of races. Otherwise, we're going to struggle. So qualifying. Uh, we've not got the best car. We've not got the best drivers. <laughs> it's all going badly. I don't know what to say. We've struggled in the last sort of three or four episodes really it's been tough it has been tough I don't want to risk it I could go on the 0 to 5 one but I just don't want to risk it right let's see then lads let's see I wish it was the oval I wish it was the oval just for a bit of fun let's be honest if it was the oval I'd probably lose by many laps as the oval is literally just down to what is the best car Oh, am I seeing a purple sector from Nixon? It's quite odd, isn't it? Oh, I think someone's going around and beating them all. Yep, yeah, it's Will. Okay, come on, Pitt. Let's go. Let's get a better step on you, lads. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, that wasn't the plan. 87% though, I'll take it, it's pretty good. If we can get a third setup running, I'm pretty confident we can max out at least one of these cars. That's pretty swift as well. I'll take that one. Go on you, there you go. I'll tell you what, we can risk that as well. Boom, look at that. That's not a bad run at all. Set up to 75% there. That was a good setup run there. Only 40% in one run. I might have been even over 40%, but we need to because <laughs> we're just under a second behind with Nixon and 1.25 behind with Walker. So, come on, lads, you can do it. We uh, we know we've got the pace in there for hopefully one of them to get on the front row, but let's see. No, we need that sponsorship money. No, we're not going to do it. Damn, and this is gonna be worrying here. Well, we're not gonna get the sponsorship money, that's for sure. I mean, nothing, nobody can get disqualified in qualifying, really, can they? So, that's not gonna happen. At least we've got the perfect setup there. Walker, we might be able to get the perfect setup. We'll risk it. Yes, lads, that's the perfect setup confirmed. But we're not gonna get the payment, the bonus payment we so desperately needed. But. At the same time, none of our sponsors are particularly good right now. I need to find out what the difference is between this year and last year. Which driver is screwing us in terms of um, sponsor appeal? Because last year, we were just getting great sponsors every single time. But this time, we're just struggling every single time. So, qualifying complete. Third. Right, okay. Ties hardly last any time here. So I'm going to start on those with you. Put a bit of extra fuel in. But I'm going to start on the mediums with you, Walker, and try something different. 
Doesn't look like it's going to rain, so let's see what happens. I'm worried about this now. This championship, it was never really in our favour ever, but I feel like it's slipping away from us. I mean, the fact that we won it in our rookie year, which unfortunately didn't record properly, and we're struggling so much in this second season to defend it, is worrying. I mean, it makes me look like a total noob, but I don't know what's happening this year. This this new team, this green team, are just destroying me in every single race, in every single session. They're just the extra few tenths ahead of me, and it's just like, how's this happening? I don't seem to be able to do anything right. Oh, that's a poster falling down in my room. Classic, perfect timing. That scared her. That did. That is scare me. It's like, wake up, Alex. Right. Oh no, we're gonna get past this. No, not quite. The thing is, if we pit, we're going to get stuck behind a whole bunch of traffic here. But we're going to have to pit this lap. And we've gone to the medium, so we're going to go to the hards for the last stint. Oh, no. Pit. Driver swap. Medium's good. Do and fuel. Good. I'm well, surprised. We've actually managed to hold off the second car for quite a... Oh, they're, they're double stacking. Why are they doing that? So their tyres are all gone. We've just come out ahead of one of them, but the fact that they've double stacked there has completely ruined Hanven's race. I don't know why. Why did they do that? It just seemed completely pointless. They could have. It would have been much more efficient to go an extra lap. And now well, they're nearly a lap behind. To be fair. We're just running around, we're cruising on these mediums, we'll pit in this lap. We'll go on to another set of medium tyres, just do the whole race on mediums. Medium, 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 medium. Why didn't it, it didn't scroll all the way down, why did they do that? I guess that's it, that's good. Whew. Just going to focus on the arts even now, because... We're stuck behind the other crew, and they're on the hards, and we're on the medium. So we should be going quicker than them, but we can't quite get past, unfortunately. This is kind of frustrating. So I'm going to conserve the tyres here and just stick behind them. If we can't overtake them, we'll just stick behind them. Tell you what, Stuart's flying. Yes, the medium strategy might work here. We're going to focus on Stuart, let them through, because they're flying. Come on, don't lose too much time by swapping these positions. Oh, come on, stop battling. You can close in here. There you go. As soon as you've got ahead, it starts closing in. I mean, I'm going to try and do something different and try and go onto the mediums in the last stint with the Art Seaver now. I don't want to go onto another set of hards. I don't know when they're going to pit in the lead of this race, but we've we've caught them up. Oh, the post is going to completely fall down, so I'm just going to... There you go. To stop your ears being hurt by it crashing all over the place. Um, we're going to pit Yachts even now. Who hasn't... I can't tell now who hasn't driven. That's kind of annoying. Uh, uh, uh. I think it would have been glow. And Stuart in the lead. Yes. Tell you what, we're going to push. Go for it, go for it, go for it. 
we'll pit this lap, give over to Kjavic, mediums, fantastic. Oh, this is going to be such an interesting final stage of this race. Take Stuart out, push. I hope I don't come out into too much traffic. Ooh, that's kind of annoying there. Come out exactly where we didn't want to, behind this group. But then, to be fair, it is what it is. I don't know why, why are they staying out there, Kumas? Are they going to go onto the... Soft, they're probably going to go onto the softs, aren't they? Are they? Um, they went on some mediums. What? Okay. This is confusing me so much. I have no idea why they went onto the mediums when they surely could have got to the end on softs. Six laps remaining. They're just too quick for us. Again, they're just too quick for us. If I start pushing now, I'm just going to destroy my tyres. So I'm just going to leave it in the fast fuel mix and hope that that's enough. But I don't think it is, unfortunately. Come on, Zerikov, you've got the soft tyres on. You need to go and beat Zer before us. Might be only two laps remaining. I feel like it'll only be two laps remaining because of this, how long this lap is. Yes, come on, Zerikov. This might be the last lap. I can't really tell. We should be good to keep pushing anyway. I tell you what, I'm just gonna go for it. Just go for it. No, they've gone flown away on this lap. I don't know what they've done. But... Why does the fuel suddenly run out at the end there? What happened there? The fuel targets all seem to have changed right at the end there. Second and third. They finished first and fourth. It means the championship is going to stay so close. Um, they're going to what, get 25, 12. They're going to get 37. I'm going to get... I'm going to get what, 18 plus 15, 33. Four-point swing. Four-point swing, which means it's six points. This is insane. They've taken the lead of the Drivers' Championship now. Kavakanti and Kumar. It's, this is intense. This is exactly what you want from a game. It's, it really makes you think. It really makes you think. And this is this has been a tricky old season. But I've actually enjoyed it, I guess, more because it's been such a challenge. But I will be gutted if I don't win it at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. It's been Axe, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.